And amid a big uptick in crime in that area, 21 and counting armed robberies or carjackings just since mid-November, a Northside alderman is reinstituting a decades-old pro program uh, that for some is raising eyebrows. Uh, Lincoln Park alderman Michelle Smith is asking her constituents to buy whistles and blow those whistles if they see certain crimes unfold. And the idea is to let people know that they're being watched in the community and being supported by the community and help take back our streets. In a bulletin sent out to her constituents this past week, 43 Ward Alderman Michelle Smith asks her constituents to arm themselves with whistles. So something that can be loud, you know, whistles that are used in sports and for example, camping safety are the kind of whistles that we recommend that people get. She writes, if you find yourself in a suspicious situation or witness a crime, blow your whistle. If you hear a whistle, call the police, then move toward the source while blowing your own whistle. The idea here is to be uh, alerting people of things you may see so that attention is brought and, and people will tend to flee. The bulletin does specify to not blow your whistle if you think doing so would put yourself in danger. Uh, we specifically advise people that if you feel in danger in any way, don't do it. This is, we expressly instruct people that if you are the victim of crime, cooperate, do not resist, and certainly don't blow your whistle at someone who has a gun pointed at your head. Smith says the so-called whistle stop program proved successful back in the 1970s before her ward was largely gentrified. And Smith says her office does have a limited supply of whistles at the ward office for residents who want to take part.